The chromatic blade weapon augment for Excalibur's exalted blade, when the mod is maxed, will add 50% status chance to exalted blade, but it will also turn it into what looks like a purely elemental weapon, depending on the energy color that you give Excalibur. This augment is available from either Steel Meridian or Orbiters of Hexus, and obviously you have to reach the top rank and it will cost 25,000 standing for each. To get the full 100% status chance from Exalted Blade, you do have to mod Excalibur so his power strength, it's got to be at least 180%. And then you've got the whole elemental side where it's not just green equals toxin, blue is electricity, white is ice and red is heat. It's grey scales or faded colours is cold damage. Reds, uh, bright yellows and oranges are heat. Purples and blues are electric and greens and dull yellows correspond to toxic. Of course, that's the, it's just variations of the base colors will add that element to it. You can actually get things like corrosive or blast damage, gas damage or magnetic damage by, it depends on what elemental you have on your melee weapon. If you have corrosive in there, which is electricity and toxin, and then you add, that's the wrong example. I was looking at this and this is where it actually came from because this is the weapon I happen to have equipped. If you add ice to exalted blade with this elemental combo where I have corrosive and the weapon is heat, it will actually add blast to it and obviously the same goes with lots of other weird combinations. If you had ice and electricity on the melee weapon and then added fire and set the elemental colour of exalted blade to heat, it would add gas on top of it. It's a real pain to mod these, it just depends on the elemental combo you have on the melee weapon and Leaving one left over will combine with the elemental added from that and it's kind of the same as the way the chroma works when it comes to that kind of thing. Remembering of course that some things do say that range mods on the melee do work but some things say that it doesn't and actual range mods in Excalibur apparently don't work with Exalted Blade. They work with every other ability apart from Exalted Blade. Didn't know that before actually looking into this. And when it comes to the people who keep saying it's a bit overpowered when you add something like Condition Overload, because apparently that works with Exalted Blade and that adds 60% melee damage for each status effect affecting the target. If you did go for the 180% power strength on Excalibur, so you are doing 100% status damage, status chance, you are pretty much going to proc every single time. Yeah, that throwing condition overload on there is going to be really useful. But at the same time, it's not really too expensive to have that in there. And the ability itself does use a fair bit of power depending on how you have it set up. And then there is the, the power drop off over distance. So the further away enemies are, the less damage you're going to do to them. So it's... Not insanely overpowering, yes, it's an augment, it adds more damage to him, that's kind of the point of it. Yeah, it's a great augment, probably one of the most powerful ones we've had in a long time, and making him stronger is probably a good thing, because not many people really play as Excalibur that much anymore. So I was glad to see this come in, and it's added a whole new concept to Excalibur, where you have to mod him weirdly, just to make this thing fit. But I liked it. It works really, really well. Anyway, I'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.